So today's video is one that I do every like couple of months and that is the what I read. So I'm going to be talking about what I read in January and February and what I'm like currently reading. So I've been reading for pretty much from like January time to February till March. Like I only really finished it like this week or last week. And that is the Oxford Book of Theatrical Antidotes. These are like all different theatre people. Ranging from like dead to still alive. Like these are so many different like actors and actresses. And I'm like, it's amazing to like read about them and read about like actors and actresses in history. Like of different times and that like it's been so interesting it's a long book and as I said every book update if you're not into long books I would not read it because it's very long so moving on to another book I read I usually read like two books at a time like one just sort of goes in my bag when I'm out and about and one's like one I read it's like my main book the one I've been reading out and about is Ginger the Stray Kitten. This is how Rosie loves visiting the stray cats on Miss Bowen's farm. And her favourite is the tiny ginger kitten because of the colour of its fur. At first Ginger's like very shy but then Rosie will bring food and Ginger slowly learnt to trust Rosie. But the farm is then sold to developers because Miss Bowen finds the farm a bit too much. So she goes to live with her son in the village. So it's sold to developers and builders. All the kittens are picked up and taken to a rescue centre, but Ginger escapes. So then Rosie's like trying to find the kitten, and suddenly it's a very scary place. Rosie does find the kitten and as the kitten as her pet. Then what I've moved on to reading is A Series of Unfortunate Events by Laomi Snicket, The Reptile Room. So basically after living with Count Olaf they go and live with their uncle Uncle Monty and then they find he gets an assistant and Count Olaf their assistant and I'm like it's not these are not happy books so if you don't want to read unhappy books I wouldn't recommend it because this one literally says dear reader if you've picked up this book with the hope of finding a simple and cheery tale I'm afraid you have picked up the wrong book altogether. The story may seem cheery at first, but when the Barricard children spend time in the company of some interesting reptiles and a giddy uncle. But don't be fooled if you know anything all about the unlucky Ballarder children. You already know that even pleasant events lead down the road to misery. In fact, within the pages you hold your hands, the three siblings endure a car accident, a terrible smell, and a deadly serpent, a large knife, a large base reading lamp, and the reappearance of a person they hope to never see again. This is Count Olaf. I'm bound to record this tragic event, but you are free to put the book back on the shelf and seek something lighter. With all due respect, let me snick it. So, this has been so good to read, like I enjoy it, like I enjoy reading. Book, then something I've recently started reading. Was, which I'm about here, is The Worst Things About Your Sister, which I haven't read for like two, three years. But I quite enjoy it. Like it's really enjoyable
again it is quite interesting it's about two sisters and how different they are like marty and big sister melissa couldn't be more different they just don't get along like they find it hard to get along with their differences marty is a messy tomboy loves animals snuggling up in her cozy comfy den and drawing her comics especially her favorite characters the brilliant marty mart so living with pink girly super annoying Melissa has has never been easy. But things are about to get much worse when Mum's new dressmaking business takes off. She needs a spare room in the house to use for her sewing. For the first time ever, Marty and Melissa have to share a room, and the girls are soon fighting every single day. But when an everyday argument goes horribly wrong with Marty, realizes how much her big sister means. To her, like they've already had a fight over like Marty using Melissa's eye pencil. It's interesting. So this book's quite interesting, I just got distracted reading it, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in another video. Bye.